most exotic weapons in Destiny 2 have access to their own exotic catalyst, a thing that, once acquired, needs to be equipped and completed by doing various objectives in order to masterwork that exotic and unlock huge stat or perk bonuses. But completing an exotic catalyst can be extremely tedious, often requiring you to kill thousands of enemies in certain ways. But today's video is going to showcase a method that is going to let you breeze through so many of those type of exotic catalysts within the game and get a bunch of your exotic weapons, masterwork, and reap the benefits. And so, let's get started. What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and yes, today we are going to be showcasing a farming method or just a cheese method or something, whatever you would call it, but a method to just kill a bunch of enemies super fast, super easily, and complete a bunch of the most annoying exotic catalysts in Destiny 2. So, the first thing you're going to need is access to the Whisper mission on Heroic. Now, the Whisper mission is the mission that you need to get the Whisper of the Worm exotic snipe rifle recently added into Destiny 2. Now, if you don't know how to do this or you haven't done it yet, not only have I made a guide showcasing all the things you need to do to get it, but I've also made an easy guide showcasing every single like shortcut, all the cheese spots for the bosses at the end and all that stuff. Definitely check out that easy guide if you're having any sort of trouble with this mission and I think it'll really help you complete it. But once you have completed it, every weekend or so this uh, mission comes back and is available to play, but you can actually, once you've done it the first time, access it whenever you want in the heroic difficulty that's going to allow you to get the catalyst for the Whisper of the Worm Sniper and then doing more stuff in there, getting chests and so on, is how you complete that catalyst. But that's a whole different story. All you need is that access to that replayable heroic mission, just so you don't need to wait around for a public event. Technically, you could just wait around. Like, you don't need to have the Whisper of the Worm. You don't need to have completed it. You simply need to wait around for the Taken Blight on the Lost Oasis area on Io, kill the secret boss that spawns, and then go into the portal, and you can still do this farming method. It's just a lot more annoying to access. But once you're in that Whisper mission, you can go in solo. In fact, solo would definitely be the best way to farm this and bring in all of the exotics with the catalyst that you want to complete. Now, the stuff that works best here is, I'm thinking definitely the three faction rally exotics. The Graviton Lance requires you to kill thousands and thousands of enemies with its exotic ability that causes the void explosion. So shooting an enemy doesn't actually progress this at all. It's the void orbs that come out of that enemy those have to kill enemies in order to progress this. Normally, this would be incredibly tedious. The sweet business as well requires you to get multi-kills of four or more, 250 of them. And any exotic catalyst that just requires you to kill a bunch of different enemies, either just straight out or using those exotic abilities, those are the best exotic catalysts to complete with this method. So take those exotics, put them in your inventory, and then go through this jumping puzzle somewhat as normal until you eventually reach this mossy green room. Once you're in here, this is where the farming method begins. Now normally there's a jumping puzzle all around the top edges to get to a chest and so on, or you can kind of cheese down the bottom, but what you're gonna do is fall down this crack and simply jump to the side. Now once you're down here, you're going to see unlimited shadow thrall spawn. Really unlimited. They spawn in a big group, like a bunch of them spawn at once, they all charge at you, and then you kill them kill them with the Graviton Lance. In fact, with the Graviton Lance, as you can see, it's so effective with this farming method that you might actually kill yourself. Like, there is so many different explosions caused by just killing one of those Shadow Thralls normally that, again, you might even kill yourself. There's so many explosions going on. That shows how effective this farming strategy is. And, in fact, after, you know, around 10-ish minutes of me farming the Graviton Lance, I went from 5% to 30% in like 10 minutes. That is insanely fast for how tedious this particular catalyst is. So not only do constantly spawning 
weak health enemies. It's very important that these are thralls and not something like acolytes because they are so easy to kill with those secondary abilities. Like, for example, the Graviton Lance again, like the Sunshot, whatever. They're going to go down very, very easily. But, in fact, you don't even have to kill all of them. Once you kill a big group and there's only a couple left, they actually despawn and a bunch more spawn up again. Like, it, it constantly throws a big group of enemies at you, which is exactly what you want. Now, a little bit of a word of wisdom here. One time I died and I just spawned directly above in the green room and then hopped back down. That's kind of what's supposed to happen. But after farming and farming and farming the Graviton Lands, I eventually wanted to switch weapons to see if it was effective with the sweet business. And when I jumped off the edge and killed myself, I spawned back at the very beginning of the jumping puzzle, like in the lost sector. So not sure why that happened, but just be careful of that. You may want to just, once you get down here, farm the crap out of a single weapon and then simply, you know, reload the mission or come back because you do still have that 20 minute time limit. But again, 20 minutes by yourself, constantly spawning weak enemies. I still think this is the most effective way to farm these particular catalysts. By the way, with the sweet business, I did get back with like only a minute remaining and I got, I went from four different multi-kills to 13 in one minute. So again, very effective with all these kill a bunch of enemies type of weapons. And that's all there is to it. If you have access to the Whisper mission, undoubtedly go in there and complete those catalysts that have been taking so long to complete. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.